For more on China's wealth management product market, we're joined by Sun Won Son from Los Angeles. He's a professor of economics at California State University, Channel Islands. Good to see you again, Professor. Yeah, thank you. Professor, the WMP market in China has exploded, totaling over three and a half trillion dollars. What is behind this phenomenal growth? Well, China's economic growth has been uh, fairly healthy for the last uh, several years, even though it's been slowing down. Also, Chinese consumers don't have a whole lot of uh, options to put their savings. Uh, banks, that's about the it, about it. So as a result, they are going into uh, so-called uh, small institutions, which are offering wealth management products. And uh, this is very similar to what America went through in earlier years, so it is part of a, a growing pain. As you can imagine, uh, when uh, a new industry emerges like, like it has in China, there are a lot of uh, institutions which are not doing a good job, in fact, in some cases cheating, and uh, consumers are, are hurting as a result. Well, these WMPs are now the biggest investors in Chinese corporate debt. That's according to China International Capital Corporation. Why is this a potential problem that they hold so much corporate debt? Uh, first of all, the, uh, uh, the China, uh, uh, the private sector of China has a lot of debt. And in fact, uh, it is highly leveraged, so that's one of the main concerns about China, how much debt they can stand. And uh, then they take their money and then, of course, uh, they invest in uh, products such as uh, real estate, uh, high-risk uh, uh, derivative, derivative products, and et cetera. And as a result, uh, you know, uh, when you borrow money and then investing in high-risk products, uh, that could be a problem. And to some extent, that's what America went through during the Lehman crisis uh, in 2007 and 2008. Uh, just to understand how severe the problem is, at the beginning of uh, this year, in China, they had about uh, 25,000, some of these uh, money management firms. And uh, because the problems had gotten pretty bad, uh, the authorities had decided to shut down about 10,000 or 40 percent of 25,000. And you can see how severe the problem is. And then the problem uh, will continue. As a result, I'm quite sure that uh, there will be more crackdowns and there more regulations and supervision. Well, you mentioned that it's quite similar to what was happening in the U.S. leading up to the financial crisis. The good news is that regulators are stepping in now. Do you think that they're doing enough? Is it too little, too late, or is it just the right time? Well, probably a bit too late, but that's always the case. The government regulation always follows, not, uh, you know, leads uh, the problems. And the United States, uh, we were no exceptions. And then so that's what's happening in China. But I think the Chinese authorities are doing the right thing. First of all, obviously, shutting down a lot of uh, unscru scru unscrupulous uh, uh, the uh, money managers' uh, shops. And uh, number one, number two, they are strengthening uh, supervision and regulations. And to some extent, some people uh, believe that the government is backtracking on financial liberalization. And also, uh, they are uh, requiring uh, more audits and then uh, more transparencies, and also making sure that uh, these folks get education so they have to pass uh, examinations. Certainly needing to educate the retail investors as well as the institutions here. But now there's concern that because of the opaque nature of WMPs, that they're actually increasingly investing in each other. So could investments by one WMP infect the others? And what would the consequences of that be? Well, that would be uh, uh, not very good because uh, to some extent that uh, the financial uh, network, uh, which hurt each other, uh, was one of the problems that we had during the Lehman crisis in 2007 and 2009. And uh, I'm sure the Chinese authorities are aware of uh, what is happening in China. And I assume that uh, there will be regulations to make sure that uh, that does not go very far. But again, to answer your question, uh, they could infect uh, one another, and then that would not be very good for the financial system. And hopefully, uh, something could be done about it. It makes up 35% of GDP, the WMP market, according to Bloomberg. What is the worst case scenario here if these regulations are not enacted quickly enough? I can't imagine that the, uh, you know, the government would uh, let uh, consumers really uh, lose a whole lot of money. So that uh, 
if the regulation and supervision, uh, let's say, do not work as expected, uh, and uh, there are serious, uh, significant, large losses, and at that point, I would assume that the government would have to step in and bail out the consumers. And uh, in really, in China, I see uh, no situation where large amounts of monies uh, will be lost by the by the, the average consumers. All right. Well, it does sound like the government is doing what is necessary. Thank you so much, Song Wan Son, professor of economics at California State University, Channel Islands.